You know my next guest from his breakout role in Stranger Things. Now he's starring alongside Idris Elba in the new movie Concrete Cowboy, which is streaming now on Netflix. Here is Caleb McLaughlin. That's what I'm talking about. That's my man. How are you, bud? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing great. Welcome back. Thank you so much for doing the show. I appreciate it. Uh, I want to get into your movie. I thought it was so good. Uh, and, and I, I was looking through uh, some IMDb stuff. I was looking through just internet stuff, rumors about you. Uh, and I wanted to ask you this question. Is there, it's the rumor out there that uh, you're going to release some music. Yeah, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm excited. I'm trying to drop some this year. Um, what is your music like? What's the album going to be like? Man, I mean, um, I've been working with this producer, Rashad uh, Music. He's been helping me cultivate my sound and what I like. Uh, it's like neo soul, R and B, like a lot of like Afro beats. It's a whole bunch of stuff, man. That's so exciting. You know what's funny? A lot of people when they ask me, "Do I do music?" they think I'm a rapper, and I tell them, "Yeah," and then I make up a name, and I'm like, "Yeah, my name is Centric." They're like, "What? That's crazy." Centric? But I'm like, "Nah, Centric, yeah." But it's it's a total lie. I'm not a rapper. I can't rap for my life. <laughs> but why not? Yeah, do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We had uh, your pal Gaten Matarazzo on the show, uh, gosh, was it two days ago? And uh, I was asking about Stranger Things, obviously. Uh, and uh, he said that all he knows about this season is that it's the scariest season by far. Uh, I mean, he's right. I feel like every season gets scarier and more gritty. Yeah, so that's... It's, it, he's very true, yeah. Yeah. But this one picks up, so, uh, I mean, you, obviously everyone's growing up and getting older. How, do you know how you're going to handle this? What age are you going to be in this? Or? Yeah, I know. Everyone's like, wow, you look so old and your voice is deep. I mean, you got a beard. I'm like, yeah, it's just facial hair. Don't worry. Like, I've always played young my whole life. Like, people don't realize in season one, I played 14. So, and I was supposed to play like 11-year-old, so I'm used to it. Yeah, and you're, 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 50, you're 54 years old. That's the other. <laughs> that's the, I'm that's the magic, yeah. I mean, you're, you're nah, still so young. Good. Come on, are you kidding me? But I mean, all right, so yeah, yeah. so you'll figure out some way to do it. I want to talk about your movie, Concrete Cowboy. Um, it yeah. started streaming last week, and guess what? Number one movie on Netflix. Not too yeah. bad. No, great. Not nah, too bad. It's not too bad at all. It's great. Blessings. Uh, I didn't know anything about this uh, story, and uh, I thought it was fascinating. It's a real community uh, in, in, in Philadelphia, yeah. right? Yeah, yep, 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 yep. That wasn't even a woo. What that sound like an animal? <laughs> that sounded like a dog got yeah. hit by a car. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, But do you guys know about this? Is it the Fletcher Street Urban Riding Club? Yeah, Fletcher Club. Street Cowboy. Yep. Mm -hmm. The Roots know mm -hmm. about this. Yeah. Uh, yep, okay, got you, got you. Yeah, they're from Philly. I didn't know anything about it. Yeah. Uh, well, can you mm -hmm. set up the movie for anyone who, has, who hasn't seen it? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, well, you, as you already know, it's taking place in Fletcher Street, North Philadelphia. Um, it's uh, taking place, well, it's seen through the character of my character, Cole, and he's sent to live with his estranged father in Philadelphia, and his time down there, he learns about the urban cowboy culture. Yeah, and it's a real thing, and it's basically saying to, to people, hey, this is another alternative, something else you can do. You can uh, become an equestrian. Uh, and learn how to take and ride horses and and it changed a lot of people's lives for real honestly yeah. it was a, a life-changing experience working in philadelphia yeah i mean at the end of the film i uh, will uh, no spoilers but well uh, too late okay. uh, i did it already uh, <laughs> you end, did it already i really did it already at the end of the film you see some real uh uh riders and people uh, and members of the club and and you go wow that is uh and they talk about how it's their their life experience how it changed their life and and uh, it, it brings a lot of attention to this uh, organization, I, and they're just currently trying to raise money for it as well. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, they've been over. They've been there over a hundred years. Um, a lot of people don't know that. They think that it's just a thing that just happened now, but this is a part of history, American history. But if you want to find out more, you can like look it up online, pure.org, or like you know learn about what's going on in Fletcher Street right now. Like everything that you see in the movie was there. Like all the scenery and everything, it was beautiful. Uh, it's wild. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Kelly McLaughlin and Idris Elba in Concrete Cowboy. Take a look at this. I can't. You need to take this lead, all right? Click it on his halter, all right? Let him know that you're there. Let him know that you're running this show. 
You understand me, Cole? Come on. You got this. Hey, boy. Okay. It's me, boy. It's okay. Chill, chill. It's okay. Come on, man. You got this. You got this. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Helen McLaughlin, everybody.